Psalms chapter 34, verse 9. Oh, fear the Lord, ye his saints, for there is no want to them that fear him. First and foremost, I want to always give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash. Next double honors to the head apostles slash elder bishops with great millstone, the one that taught me the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere. I can keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith. But God's the people here forbear fear the Lord. O ye his saints, who are the saints, the Israelites, fear. Fear, man. Have a have wake up having a healthy dose of fear. Go to sleep having a healthy dose of fear of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai throughout the day. Have a healthy dose of fear of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, right? Turn I'm, I'm gonna just say this one thing. Turn on the news. Turn on the news and see what happened last night. And and then everything ain't even being reported on the news. Just the new, just watching the news itself and seeing what you how about Shem Yahushai did last night. What? Once again, all kind of home invasions. Yeah, how about Shem Yahushai put put the smack down on these people last night, smacking them, smacking them around the city. That's why the Lord, no say, commands us to seek Him, to turn back, quick. And throughout the week, you know what I'm saying, through the spirit of Yahweh, but Shem Yahushai to try to at least make two, three lessons every week on fearing Yahweh by Shem Yahushai. Once again, Psalm chapter 34, verse 9. You see what, you see what the God of the Bible is doing to the people that don't fear? You see what he's doing? He's eradicating them from off the face of the earth. Psalm chapter 34, verse 9. Oh, fear the Lord. Fear Yahweh by Shem Yahushai. Cause it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. Ye his saints, for there is no want to them that fear him. All kind of storms, man. All the, man, this, this week alone is Wednesday, so called hump day. Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, look how many people they got killed this week. All these different gun shooters. Ten people getting shot here, people, ten people getting shot there. You know. Head, head busted straight to the end. And the Lord been judging a whole lot of women this week. Yahweh Bashim Yahushai been judging a whole lot of women this week alone, man. Luke chapter 12, verse 5. But I will forewarn you whom ye shall fear. Fear him. Fear him. Which after have killed, have power to cast into hell. Yea, I say unto you. Fear him. Fear Yahweh by Shem Shai, man. Yeah, look, he'll, he'll, he'll bend that body up. He'll, look, he'll fold that body, man. Psalms 22, 23. And I'm just going through some scriptures on fearing the Lord. And it's a whole lot of, let's go back up to the top. You talking about some love, love, love. 6,981 scriptures on fearing the Lord. And they ain't even put their pocket for in there yet. You know, people getting kidnapped. These people are seriously getting judged. Psalms 22, 23. Ye that fear the Lord. Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Praise him. Yes, yes. All ye the seed of Jacob. The Israelites. Glorify him. And fear him. All ye the seed of Israel. Remember, make no tarrying. To turn to the Lord. And don't put it off from day to day. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth. More cop shootings this week. Psalms 115, 13. He will bless them that fear the Lord. Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Both small and great man. Alright. Proverbs 3 and 7. Be not wise in thine own eyes. Fear the Lord. And depart from evil, man. You see? Man. Cause if, cause if you don't, Psalms 9, 20, put them in fear. For all the people on the earth that don't fear Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, put them in fear. Oh Lord, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. 
that the nations may know themselves to be but men, because everybody's prideful right about now, you know, pride month, call these different fires, man. Remember, all the proud, all the do weekly shall be stubble, man. Oh, pride much. No, no one hasn't learned from the from the past, you know. No, nobody didn't learn. Let's get Sarah. I brought this out the other day, but I'm bringing it out again. This is what the Lord has prepared for all you wicked people of the earth. Sirach chapter 40. I, I must be allowed to read it again. And the, these scriptures never get old. They never get old. Sirach chapter 40. Verse 9. Death and bloodshed. Strife and sword. Calamities. Famine. Tribulation. And the scorch. These things are created for the wicked. And it's a blueberry shortage now. Because the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. When the righteous start to rule the earth once again, you you never hear of a blueberry shortage, strawberry, chicken shortage. When the righteous are in the thought, you ain't going to hear about no shortages, man. That only happens when a wicked person is ruling the earth. A wicked nation is ruling the earth, man. These things are created for the wicked. And for their sakes came the flood, man. They call these carjackings. You know, people getting carjacked left and right, man. Right to left, left to right. Back to back, back to back. The Lord ain't playing, man. He, he really is judging these people of the earth, man. You know, it, it, you, you deserve it. You deserve it. Let's get Ephesians, the fifth chapter. Like I said before, we're just flowing in the spirit. Bring out a couple of scripts and I'm going to wrap it up. <laughs> Shit, we in hell right about now, so you got to go to work. Ephesians chapter 5. You don't work, you don't eat, remember? If he, a shortage on blueberry. There's a shortage on everything, man. Everything is in danger right about now. As long as the wicked is ruling, man. Ephesians chapter 5. And the, and the, the Israelites that don't turn back. Yeah, how about Shemar Shai is going to let the wicked sleeze to eat, have his way with them, man. Ephesians chapter 5. Then, yeah, he is. Ephesians chapter 5, verse 14. Wherefore he saith, Awake thou that sleepest. And arise from the dead. And Yahweh Shai shall give thee light. Which is this word. See then that you walk circumspectly. Supposed to be looking around at what's going on. Not as fools. Because the majority of our people they don't even know if it's, if it's June or October. Yo know, man, come on man. But as wise. Redeeming the time. Because the days are evil man. All right. Some dead, there's some bad times. Wherefore, be not unwise, but understanding what the will of the Lord is. And what's the will of the Lord? To annihilate this place from off the face of the earth. You know, to come back and do a whole lot of killing. That's why I, I, I love doing lessons on fearing the Lord. It keeps me in line. Sure enough, it keeps me in line. Let's see. Um, Deuteronomy Deuteronomy chapter 6 verse 24 and the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh commanded us it's a commandment to do all these statues we rehearse them right about now to the best of our ability right to fear the Lord our power you, you know it's a commandment to fear the Lord for our good always that he might preserve us alive as it is this day you want to be preserved from the set perils that are coming upon the face of the earth, better fear the Lord. You know, you you better fear the Lord. You see, Hebrews 13, 16, so that they may boldly say, the hopeful elect, right? The Lord is my helper, and I will not fear what man shall do unto me. That's if you fear the Lord. But if you don't fear you, how about Shemiah Shai? Yeah, you, be, you better be worried about what man can do. You know, it, it, look, if you don't fear the Lord, let's see. Second Chronicles 19, 7. Wherefore now let the fear of the Lord be upon you. Take heed and do it. For there is no iniquity with the Lord our power, 
no respect of person, nor taking of gifts, man. Psalms 34 and 11. Come, ye children, the children of Israel, Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Because remember, the word was given to us. But everybody's going to eventually fear the Lord anyway. Hearken, meaning listen. Hearken unto me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. You see? <laughs> Proverbs 14, 26. In the fear of the Lord is strong confidence. You know, that builds up your faith too, man. When you fear the Lord, that builds up your faith. That builds up your confidence. And his children shall have a place of refuge. What's refuge? A place of hiding. When you're running from the enemy and you got a refuge, a place of hiding, it keeps you safe. Remember, the name of the Lord is the strong tower. The righteous run into it and it's safe. You know, Psalms 147 and 11. The Lord taketh pleasure in them that fear him. And those that hope in his mercy, man. I got one more and I'm going to wrap it up. I got one more and I'm going to wrap it up, Israel. Let's get Sirach the fifth chapter. Sirach chapter five. Like I said before, a quick little lesson through the spirit of Yahweh, by Shema Shah, Lord, one of the elect is edified. This is Sirach chapter five. Let's see, Sirach chapter 5, verse 7, and it reads, Make no tarrying to turn to the Lord. Where a tarry means to wait, don't wait, and put not off from day to day. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth, and in thy security thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. So it's all about fearing the Lord, man. Lord, one of the elect is edified, shall want.